you have your job, you're working, and basically they say, can you do some analytics? And you say, sure, give me the data. Well, you're like, well, we can't give you the data. We can't give you real-time access, but you can download it. Oh, okay, so you go to download it, and uh, you run into uh, limitations like, well, you can only download you know, 10,000 rows at a time, or you can't download it until you fill out this role-based training, and you need role-based access requests, and you finally get access to the data, and you finally get it, you're gonna download it, and then you're gonna find out that, oh, you need other data from another system that's gonna ask you for all the same type of credentials, and you go through that. So, you know, two weeks later, you finally get access to both sets of data in different siloed data sets or warehouses, whatever you wanna call it. You get that access, and then um, you realize that the data is, is, is dirty. Like, it's, it's just crap data. You basically, you're looking at it and you say you have fields that you have no idea what they are. You don't know what this column is supposed to be in this table. Um, you have some that are blank, some that are NAs, some that are, um, you know, random data types you've never even thought to look at, and it's just a mess. So you spend, you know, the next like week and a half playing with the data while your coworker also plays with the data but doesn't care about all those little problems. So in no time, your coworker is going to create like a bunch of charts and graphs and pretty little pictures and show off to the boss, and the boss is going to say, oh, those are really pretty. Meanwhile, you're, you're thinking, well, none of that's going to matter because the data is not right. You can't just serve up data that's not cleaned and you don't understand it. And it takes time to do that. And then um, you go back to the boss and the boss is like, oh, I like these pretty charts. Yeah, make these. And then all I'm thinking about is, well, what kind of decision are you going to make based on this chart that I'm going to give you? If, if you're not going to make a decision if by looking at this chart, then why do we even need the chart? Right? So you want to do it right and you want to make a, a wise, insightful decision based on the data analytics that you've done. But if your coworker is going to go show pretty pictures right off the bat without cleaning the data first, you're going to run into problems. So you have to solve all those cultural problems within your organization as well. People do think that it takes no time to mess with data. It takes a long time to mess with data. So it might take you weeks just to clean the data, just to get it to a point where you can finally do something with the data, uh, analytics wise. And once you do that, you find some insights, then you have to sell that insight and you have to describe it and explain it to your boss or your decision makers in your organization. And you have to explain that, what it will, uh, what's the benefit of doing whatever decision you wanna make or you recommend them a decision and then they can actually enact on that or not. It's totally up to them. They're the decision makers, they're the bosses, they're the executives. But that's really how it seems to be working so far is, is really, you know, gaining access to the data is very difficult. You finally gain access, you realize you need more data sources, then you have to connect those data sources, make sense of the data sources, clean the data, which is like 80% of the entirety here. Well, if you have clean data, you can run the same algorithms over and over again on that clean data, it's fine. But the moment that you have messed up data, so your data quality is not good, your DQM is not good, you have just bad data. You have to validate all this stuff. And that takes a long time, you know? Um, data validation is a whole nother story too. And then why did the data not get validated before it was persisted into some long-term storage like a Oracle database, right? So you wanna, you wanna think about all those questions as you go through this, but also what makes a business sense, you know, a, a, a wise business need? So just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. It costs money to do everything. So, But if you can validate data before it gets persisted into some sort of long-term storage, then you don't have to worry as much about the data cleanup later, right, in, in post or whatever you want to call it. So if you have some sort of form and the form does not allow you to enter the wrong results, then that'll help you as it goes through that pipeline. You know, you have your ETL pipeline. You might have your data go from a form to a... XML schema that gets verified uh, or validated through some schema validation process. Then it might go through like a business rules management system to see if all the rules have been applied. And once that happens, it can either continue down the pipeline or shoot out an error that says, hey, nope, something's wrong, kick it back. But let's say that you don't kick it back 
and it continues down the pipeline. Then you go through some sort of ETL. You know, you're going to extract, transform, and load certain parts of that data in different um, different places. You might separate the data into multiple tables, multiple data uh, warehouses or databases, I'm sorry. You, you might do that or you might have one database with multiple tables. It doesn't matter, but I'm just saying it has to go through that ETL process. But hopefully, again, the validated data, uh, it gets validated as you go. So if you can instill data quality management throughout the entire pipeline, then at the end of the day, it's much cleaner for you to work with with analytics. I know that sounds like a lot of what I just said is like uh, a little confusing, but it's not just us playing with data. It's us convincing the culture around us, our stakeholders, the decision makers, that these things need to be in place. It's hard for someone to realize that um, it's worth spending money on this end instead of this end. You need to spend money on the whole thing. But what is the benefit? So how do you describe that benefit to the end user? You know, again, if you can stop the user from inputting bad data to begin with, you get insight a lot faster on that data because it's clean and you can use it, which could save X amount of money, X amount of time, or it can be more innovative for your organization, things like that.